This week on the podcast, Will Ospreay tells me why he sucks on the internet. Mikey Nichols is back on the scene, and I tell you all about life as a New Japan pro wrestler. Enjoy it. This is the art of wrestling with professional wrestler Colt Cabana. Right, come on in, sit down, relax. You're about to listen to The Art of Wrestling, a professional wrestling podcast. It's a life podcast. It's a personal journal. It's an entryway to the minds, the souls, the hearts, and lives of the people involved in the world of professional wrestling. I am your host, Konnichiwa. My name is Colt Cabana. I am not a Japanese speaker. I'm barely an English speaker. I'm a commentator. Most importantly, though, I am a professional wrestler, and I am coming to you live, not from my studio, apartment in Chicago, Illinois. I am coming to you from a hotel room in Okayama, Japan, and it is a Washington hotel. It is that brand of a hotel. It is very small. It smells like my wrestling gear, and I am okay with it. Before we go any further, this is a fan support and listener supported podcast supported by people just like you. We give it to you free of charge every single Thursday. ColtCommander.com, iTunes, SoundCloud, wherever you get your podcasts from. A couple great ways that you can support, rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes. Tell a friend, tweet it out, Facebook it out. The best way to support ColtMerch.com, DigitalColt.com, t-shirts, buttons, pictures, posters, DVDs, a children's book, action figures, micro brawlers. I will send it all to you when I get home from Japan. That's ColtMerch.com and DigitalColt.com. Dot com. Well, it is the official start of the New Japan Cup season. And for those of you who don't follow along with New Japan, there is a G1 tournament, which everybody wrestles everybody, and then the two people with the best scores in different brackets will wrestle each other to decide the G1 championship. But this is the New Japan Cup, kind of like a March Madness-style win and go to the next round and two wrestlers will find themselves in the finals. And that is the tournament that I am. There's 32 wrestlers. I am one of 32. I am the first one debuting in New Japan, technically, in the actual promotion. I I thought it was me and Mikey Nichols from TMDK fame, but he's actually not debuting. He's been here a couple of times. I'll tell you all about it as uh, as we start the tour off in a very familiar Kurikan Hall. That is like home base for most Japanese wrestling promotions in Tokyo. And uh, Mikey and I, we were in the locker room. It was way too crowded, so he took me to his uh, hidden secret place. Uh, He didn't touch me or anything. We just talked. We're actually in your little, this is your recommended hut down here. I know, it's my my go-to spot. Which is what? Describe it for everybody. Uh, well, imagine the bottom of the stairs in a dark, dark uh, corner of Corrigan Hall. That's where I like to a, feel at home. A, a Japanese hall that was built in the 1700s, it probably. It was. It was actually used as a bomb shelter during the Civil War, which not many people know that. God, I don't know. I, See, I'm assuming you are bullshitting. Well, what I did, and I said I did a lot of research into Japanese history before I got over here, so... Amateur historian, no, you know. Is that right? Historian. I am professional yeah. wrestler. Yeah. See? Amateur historian. Exactly. I need something to do in my downtime, you know. This is uh, you're the first talk of this little uh, podcast today. Oh, yeah. Nice, thank you. And uh, we're although this isn't your debut with New Japan, yeah. we're both starting uh, hopefully something new, right? Yeah. Finally, funnily enough, the uh, last time I was with New Japan at Corrigan Hall was in 2005. Okay, cause, but you also wrestled the Dome with them. Yeah, but I mean, the last because we're at Corican now. Yeah. So I think it's funny that the next time I'm back at Corican with New Japan is 14 years later. So what was that? I don't think I knew that you did New Japan. I, although I, you did the New Japan Dojo in L.A. Yeah, and that's what led to us coming over here in 2005. So who came over? It was me and uh, Hartley Jackson. Okay, I, th- I think I remember you you're just representing Australia. Yeah, cause and what was it? Just a tag man. So Japan beat us. No, Australia beat Japan in the soccer. So uh, they had their World Cup revenge match. So did you think that would lead to like a New Japan run? Hopefully, yes. I guess everyone hopes. You know, you know, I hoped it would, but then you know, obviously, the one thing leads to another. And fourteen years later, it just it just took me fourteen years to get back to get here. So you know, get back here. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Just coming in to this tour. Uh, I guess even the show, but you didn't. Really, we didn't really do much, both of us, in these matches. Yeah, it was great. I miss Japan. Uh, I don't know. I feel more at home in Japan than I do anywhere, and I love it here. So it was great coming back. It was cool coming from the uh, airport to the hotel and just recognizing some places that I hadn't, you know, that I hadn't seen in years. It's great. What's it been? Two or three years? How long were you with WWE? Uh, just two and a half. 
most recent. I think my last match in Japan was uh, maybe April 2016. So yeah, three years. And then is this like, yeah, did, okay. Did you, so did you have? Is there nerves or excitement? It's more excitement than nerves, I think. You know, nerves can something new, different people, but just excitement more than anything, I think. Obviously, is I mean, it's not, it's not anything negative on WWE, but is it like? Is this kind of like the fuck you tour or like <laughs> the prove them wrong tour? I guess so. I guess that's what it is. There's always that, that kind of thing to it. But I don't know. Trying to, you know, it is. I mean, I definitely, you know, I, when, I, uh, when I was done with them in 2009, like I think everything I did was just like a strong chip on my shoulder. That's, that's what it is. It's just a chip on your shoulder. I mean, more than anything, it's just more motivation more than... Right. You know? Right. And I mean, like, use that to drive you to do great things. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a, I told you so, or I don't even know. To be honest, I'm mostly just excited about the freedom to be able to do, you know, just almost do what I want, in, for lack of a better term, and just be more creative. Yeah. So that's what I miss, being, like, creative and... All the uh, different kinds of matches and stuff. So. Yeah, sometimes I think about like, man, would I want to go there? And then I just think about like, I was thinking that as I was on like a train in Japan, yeah. going to the gym, and then like knowing I have the fringe coming up, and I can just like take a month off and do a comedy show in August. I'm like, oh, you you wouldn't be allowed that, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah, that kind of freedom's awesome. And like, like I said, like just to be to fly in here from uh, obviously from back in Australia, and to know that I'm gonna be back there in three weeks with my. With your new kid? Yeah, with the little girl and my wife and stuff, so it's great. It makes a bit of a difference from last time when I was coming here, and we'd come over here and wouldn't be home for like six months, mm-hmm. eight months. Like, just the idea of being here for three weeks now is amazing. What a treat. Well, I don't, uh, maybe we'll catch up a little more on this tour. Please, All please. Right. Well, I'll go read some history books. Okay. <laughs> or watch Yuji Nagata wrestle. Let's do that. Let's do that one. just night one we actually both finished our match we were done as you could hear uh, Nagata and Ishii were wrestling each other again those not familiar with uh, New Japan wrestling Yuji Nagata from WCW fame back in the day that guy he's still at it Uh, in my match in my very first match it was an eight-man tag and my match I'll just list it off for you it was me Taguchi Michael Elgin and Shota Umino who is a, a, a young lion and on the other side was uh, Makabe, Okada, Tanahashi, and Tenzan. And uh, a lot of weird markout moments for me, especially, you know, Tanahashi is the ace and Okada is, uh, you know, the number one wrestler maybe in the world. Um, but Hiroshi Tenzan from fucking back in the day. I think that's what got me the best. And what a cool atmosphere to start night one. My actual first round match isn't until the very last day. So a lot of warm-ups, a lot of six-mans, a lot of eight-mans. Juice will actually tell you all about it. As the very next day, we get on the, the big New Japan bus, and we travel to Aichi. I don't know where that is either. I don't know, maybe two and a half hours away. By the way, these buses. Oh, what a way to live. Chocolate covered egg. We're on night two of the tour, my first tour. <laughs> Just started <laughs> Are you laughing because the tour just started? It seems like forever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I've been here forever. Yeah. This is just the second night. We're in the, live in Nagoya. Yeah, tell me about Nagoya. Welcome to the Hotel Nagoya. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Living it up. Yeah, you know. You Did you sing it. in choir at, at school? No. Did you ever sing in a band? Actually, I did sing in choir in fifth grade and sixth grade. But? Oh, dude, uh, here's a good story for you. I, I sang uh, Blue Christmas by Elvis when I was like eight, and my dad just bawled. I killed it, though. I did kill it. I, I just destroyed it. So, oh, be when, doing all right with your Christmas of white. Oh, my God, everyone's crying right now. That was before I started drinking whiskey and <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> 
<laughs> when uh, I don't know if you know about the bar mitzvah scene. I'm assuming you've never been to a bar mitzvah. No, nope, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they would have karaoke, and uh, Elvis was my go-to. But I would a little. It was a little more upbeat. The upbeat of a song. Oh, like uh, like what? Like Jeff Hoffman. My hole. What's the wrong with you? <laughs> you did your lip. You did your lip. <laughs> oh shoot! All right, tell me where we are. We are in Nagoya watching the semi-main event between Will Ospreay, the aerial assassin, and the general Tox Fale. And Ospreay just hit Jado with a Singapore cane. And then, uh, and then now oh, he's going at, oh, Fale's getting his ass kicked with a Singapore cane right now. Yeah, you don't have to do play-by-play for it. <laughs> All right, morphed into Kevin Kelly right there. <laughs> My God. My God, he's got him a Singapore cane. He's got a family. Um, I don't know if you take it for granted now, but, you know, this is pretty wild. Like, this, this just seems to be an, another show on the tour, and there's 5,000 people out there. I, uh, dude, I, I take it for granted on accident. It's so fun. Isn't it fun? It's wild. Uh, there was just so many people out there. Like, I'm just so used to walking, like, looking out the door and being like, oh, only 200 in the house tonight. And there was, I look out the door and there's a full house. And everybody's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's nice and wants to be here. Um, and then you, so I just did an eight man. Did you have a, what did you have, eight man or six man? Six man. And that kind of seems to be the uh, theme almost, right? Unless, unless you got the big matches, it's a lot of tag matches. Yep, all tags because singles mean something here. Is that the theory? That's the theory, man. And, you, you know, you tag, anything can happen. You pin a champion, you get pinned as a champion, then, then you get the, your singles match. Oh, and you're out of the cup, so you don't even have any singles matches left. Nope. I got eight mans and ten mans and six mans and pro- oh, probably not even a regular tag. If I was on a regular tag, I'd be like, what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And now that Finley's gone, what happened to him? Uh, Finley had... Whoa, I'll spray with a big roll-up. My God. Oh. Well, Finley has a perforated labia majora. Oh, no. I can't. You have to edit that. No, he, uh, he has a tear in his labrum that requires surgery, and he's going to be out six months. Six months? Yeah. You guys were going for a big tag run. I know, and then he dislocated his shoulder like a baby. What a piece of shit. What a coward. That's what I say. Well, don't do that for the rest of the day. Man, I've broken my hand so many times. Shoulder, hand, same thing, right? And you're back. (laughs) I'm back. I never left. (laughs) No, he's hurt pretty bad, and he's got to get cut on. But my thing was, I told him, you got to research because the American health system, they're going to want to, of course they want to perform surgery so they can take all your money. I got an MRI and I got uh, physical therapy, and it cost me about eight grand. <laughs> and I didn't even get surgery. I know. So. I I had I broke out in some rash last year, <laughs> around this time, like head to toe crazy rash. It ended up being like a psoriasis gimmick. I had to go to the dermatologist eventually because I was so embarrassed. I was wrestling with a shirt on. In Japan, did you go to the one? Did you go to the dermatologist in Japan or? No, right? in Japan they just kept giving me. They had no idea what was going on. And then I went to, uh, I paid to go in America. And he was like, well, it's either syphilis or it's psoriasis. Oh, I, was like, God. I was like, what syphilis? So then in Japan, I got a, my blood tested by our doctor here. And he's like, you're clean, brother. <laughs> so you, you got no STDs, no STIs or whatever they're called. So I brought my blood work back to America. They're like, okay, yeah, it's psoriasis. And it costs, just to get all this stuff, it was like, Almost, almost five hundred dollars for just like a skin cream and a shot, like one shot of whatever steroids or. Want to move to Canada with me, dude? Yeah. Let's do it. So long, from Nagoya, live. So uh, Aichi is maybe a small town outside of Nagoya, or we were in Nagoya, and it was the Aichi, and I keep on saying Aichi, and it's probably wrong, A-I-C-H-I. I don't know, it's probably like saying Chicago and Skokie, or Brooklyn and 
Queens, maybe. Something like that. And uh, this night I was also in there with some of the greats, Tanahashi, Tenzan, Makabe, and uh, Yuji Nagata. And uh, Yuji Nagata and I, we did some fun shenanigans. In there with the greats. great The greats in professional wrestling and also the greats on my feet. And I'm talking about the greats, my sponsor, greats. They sell premium quality sneakers at a fair price with classically inspired styles for both men and women in full and half sizes. The greats. They've got timeless designs and are handcrafted in Italy with luxury materials. Their best sellers include all leather Royale lace up and Wooster slip on. The classic silhouette of the Greats Royale is updated and upgraded for the modern man and woman. Greats sells direct to consumers, so you get high quality product at a value price. Greats has been featured in GQ, Vogue, Esquire, and their shoes have hundreds of five star reviews from shoppers. And if you need any help, they got a great support team that is working seven days a week. Check out the greats at greats.com or give them a visit in person if you're in New York, Venice Beach, or select Nordstrom stores all across the U.S. I personally have a pair of the Royale Neros waiting for me at home when I get there. And you should grab some shoes, too. I'm going to get you 10% off and free shipping. Just go to greats.com and use the promo code COLT. That's G-R-E-A-T-S dot com. Promo code is COLT, and that'll get you 10% off and free shipping. I don't want to have all gaijin um, in this podcast, although that's probably what's going to happen. I don't know if I feel comfortable uh, asking Tanahashi to come on my podcast or anything. It's my first tour. Maybe when I'm uh, Rocky Romero and I'm on tour 10,000, I will give him a chat. But I did see an old friend, and uh, he was running to go do his job. But I wanted him to say hello, and I made him say hello. <laughs> but no good I English? I can't speak yeah, English. Just say may he- hello to everybody? Hello, my name is Milano. Everybody knows Milano Collection 18. No, no, no. no. Every, very famous in America. Long time years ago, I wrestled in USA. Yeah. yeah. We were tag team partners. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Me and you versus Sal Renaro and Tony Mamaluk. Oh, Tony Mamaluk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know Chris Hero? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I stay... Uh, their house. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In Philadelphia. Yes. And yes, sometimes yes. Texas, right? Yes, yes. And now your job ah. is kind of like me, commentator. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Number one commentator? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you. All right, night three, Hyogo, Japan. I still haven't had my first match in the New Japan Cup. I am in the last bracket. So it is another six-man tag for me. Me, Elgin, and Mikey Nichols versus Toa Hanare, Makabe, who I'm facing in the first round, and Okada again. An interesting thing about the uh, Japanese wrestling culture, I guess, is they like to get the fuck out of there. So the minute that the last match on one of the specific buses is done, they're gone. No matter what. And that's uh, what Will Ospreay was doing. But I've never had Will on the show. I wanted to have him on the show. And we start chatting before he has to uh, head to the next town. Why are you leaving? Oh, because we're just waiting for Mikey. And then we're getting on the bus. Toby Norris style. Do I have to get on the bus? No, no, you don't. You're on a different bus, k and all that. (laughs) What bus are you on? I'm on the Kaz bus. Kaz and New Japan are working together. That's the thing I don't get now. Uh... We could be on the same bus if we wanted to. Finally, it's like the Mega Powers. Maybe, yes, it is like the Mega Powers. Okada and Tanahashi are working together, so... Oh, should, yeah. We should, in okay. theory, be okay to get on the same bus. Okada pulled you into this promotion. Yes. Under the Chaos banner. Yes. I'm very caught up, very familiar. Mm, check you out. Who'd, uh, who'd you wrestle tonight? Uh, I was in a six-man tag. It was uh, me, Ishii, and Yano versus... Uh, Tai Chi and KES. I've got a little thing going on with Lance right now for the New Japan Cup. Oh, say Lance again. Lance. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how would it sound if you were to dance with Lance? Oh, my Where God. Where else would you do that? On the dance floor. Near, <laughs> would it be near Paris by any chance? In, in my what? Near Paris? Paris. Glad you got where I was going. Though. Paris. <laughs> Paris. Dance with Lance in Paris. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dance with Lance in Paris is France. In France. Thank yes. you. There we go. We got there. God, it got there in the end. You can't confuse me with big sentences like that. Have you been to this building before? 
No, yeah, this is my first is Man Cup tour. No, so why are the why I was talking to Juicy? Why are the the crowds so big? I've only wrestled for Zero One and Noah and DDD. I don't know. We're doing something right, I guess. Is this how it is every tour? Not every tour. I mean, we got some country places, and it's just like it's just a, a hall with a ring in it, a venue. Just but like I guess because this is a big tour. Like, it's a big tournament, and a lot of people want to see it, so they get loads of are arenas for these ones. Yeah. How, and how are you feeling? A bit banged up, but... Uh, I, gave, I gave you my, my gimmick. Yeah, your little uh, neck uh, pillow pump. I don't know what it's I've called. I've been sharing all my toys with you. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God, that sounds so sexual. But well. It does actually turn me on a little bit when I'm pumping my neck up, and I look right. so fat and disgusting, but... <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of these things where, like, it extends your neck via pumper. And, and, uh, and you actually... Sorted my neck out just before we were about to go out to dinner. Well, we time. we can't legally say that I did. Okay, but like I'm a, I am a backyard chiropractor. Okay, but like I don't I don't mind. I'm not going to sue you. I hereby will not sue Colt Cabana because I have no money anyway. Oh, perfect. Yeah, but I do. That's yeah. what. <laughs> yeah, no, but like I don't know where to start. Okay, with perfect. That. I'm stupid, man. Have you not seen my social media? I'm the worst. I have seen yeah, your exactly. social media. So, I'm glad you're self aware. Yeah, oh mate, more than self aware. Like I was like the dyslexic kid in class. I got the extra fifteen thirty. Minutes minutes on my bloody exams, do you know what I mean? Where is your money going? Oh, into my house. Uh, me and B bought a house uh, together. Well, I did hear a rumor does say that you're not the best with money. No, I'm terrible. <laughs> Dude, I'm the worst. But like, to be fair, the way I see it is that I pay like, I, I get like a set amount from New Japan. This amount goes to my house. This amount goes to my mum and dad. This amount goes to, so by the end of it, I'm like trying to be smart and like, like, but you have a lot of amount that goes to whatever you want. Yeah, to go. yeah. Like I'm trying to help my mum and dad out as well. Like I'm trying to help. Like I, I do. Like all my money goes towards like trying to build like a future and help my mum and dad out because they fucking looked after me for so long. Because oh, I'm allowed to swear shit. Oh, just said it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome. Just. Oh, good. So, yeah, it's just for me. It's just about taking care of the people that took care of me for once upon a time. So. Very kind of you. Yeah. All right. I, I would like to show that I am a kind person and not this arsehole that I am perceived on social media. <laughs> it's just some people just piss me off and I just get real hot and I can't control my emotions. I apologize. Well, you can take care of me for sorting your neck out. I, I, I will. I'll buy you a drink. Uh, I'll take oh, that you, for a you, meal. You did buy me one game of the drum game, the Japanese drum game. Yeah, but I feel like it's not enough. That was only... 100, 100 yen? Yeah. Maybe. So I've still got about like nine, 900 to go, plus the plus the neck pillow, so I feel like that's an extra mm. 2,000. So I'll, I'll buy you a meal and maybe a drink. Oh. No, no, I'll take I'll, you up from Yakiniku. I'll take you up on it. Yeah. And I got those ones. Thank you very much. All right, go, go on your bus trip. I'm going to stay here forever. Uh, forever. Forever. Shout out to Greg Burridge as well. <laughs> to Greg? Yeah, because you guys use a team together. That's right. Team Shag, best. I know your song. I am so pucker, <laughs> and you are a slag. I wear loads of jewelry. I'm a chav. Me and my friends used to play that all the time. We used to be the biggest Team Shag fans. And then the guy stole my uniform. Then the promoter stole my uniform. <laughs> but really? Yeah. I don't know any of this. I don't know any of the horror stories at 1PW. I only know that it just went, strangely just went one day. Yeah, he... After my match, he stole my uniform, put it on eBay, and what? told and told me he didn't know where it was. And I go, it's on eBay. Name and shame this guy. Yeah. It's, what's his name? Who's that? The one PW promoter. Uh, I've never met him. He tried to do a comeback years ago, yeah. and it just never happened. Yeah. All right, well, this, okay. this looks like he's uh, so giving me the sorry. eyeballs, so it looks like we're going. Well, right. take care, go. See you, bud. And finally, Will leaves... Eventually, I leave. We go to bed. We wake up. We travel to another town. And uh, it is my first singles match of the tour. And I grab the, the vet, the New Japan vet, Rocky Romero. He helps me out. He gives me some words of encouragement. He even teaches me some uh, Japanese lingo, maybe, to say inside the ring. Watashi wa bakajanai? Yes. Or you could say, watashi wa baka desu. Baka janai. Yeah. But you should say baka this, which means I'm stupid. I'm stupid. And you You're selling me hard on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want I'm trying to reteach you so that you will tell start saying to everybody. So I'll say that out there. I think I can get uh, it over though. Yeah. Everyone will be like, he's so stupid and fun. They love him. Yeah, right. Uh or the fourth day into this tour, that's what I'm known as. 
like you've been here a million times and talked to everybody. They're like, what's the word on cabana? You're like, oh, baca <laughs> <laughs> That's the scoop. Exactly. Uh, um, okay, so w- w- uh, here's our fourth day. I have a match tonight, and what are the odds I, I uh, what are the odds I win this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Who's it against? Makabe. Makabe. He's like the most famous man in New Japan so for wrestling, that's right? That's what you guys were saying. And you're so like you're he's like what you are to the to the foreign wrestlers in America. We were saying like you're you're quite famous, the podcast is known, you know, like out, well, outside. Juice said, yeah, Juice yeah. goes Yeah, you've got billboards all over Chicago. Right, exactly. And so he has billboards in Japan? He's just a walking billboard, basically, because he's Sweets Makabe. He's got a TV show that he does, uh, or it's like a segment on a, on, a, on a major TV program, like a weekly program, and uh, where he goes around Japan and tests out different sweets and tells them you know, his, what he likes, what he doesn't like. That's and weird, because like, this is the week that the Destroyer passed away, mm-hmm. and I keep on reading these stories how the Destroyer was on the equivalent of like laughing. Like, he was on a, oh, really? a comedy show in Japan as an American. I know he was pretty famous. Yeah, he had the thing with Ricky famous. Dozen. Do you have a Japanese family too or something like that? I think so, Maybe, yeah. Right? And lived over here right. and but also had this like side gig. Who you know who also has that is Quiet Storm is on like a comedy show. Do you know that? I had no idea. Yeah. That's as cool. like Good the guy speaks English but also Japanese. can speak Japanese. That's cool. And so That's my, where you're going with this whole thing like from you teaching Watashi me Bakadas. Wa, Bakadas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from me taking 12 years to learn one phrase. <laughs> So back to what do you, what I think the chances are? Yeah. Slim. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what, is, what does my body and my my chances have in common? Slim. Slim. Look at me. Yeah. No, no, it's, sadly yeah. not. Slim, yes. Uh, where are we at twi- tonight? Do we know? I don't know. Uh, I think called. we're in Takamatsu, I think. And have you been here before? Yes. Yes. I, we, did the, we did a G1 here. Last year, and I think I, I called the matches as well. I'm going to be calling the matches tonight. I'm going to be calling your match. Mm, better put me over. Of course. Watashi wa baka. Yeah, I'm going to just itchy ba- do baka, itchy baka. I'm going to do this whole shtick all over again. <laughs> You've been doing it all over the, the tour. Um, yeah. I just, How you feeling, though? I'm, I, well, I, I feel like a real underdog in this thing. Yeah. Um, but I am just happy to be here, right. as the slogan goes. How are you feeling now? This is your, what, three matches, uh, three official matches in to yeah. New Japan? The, the one thing I've taken away from this, and I'll probably talk on this on my intros and outros or whatever, is it's I can't believe how many people are at these shows oh. compared to like this is I don't know if this is a house show or whatever like like there's going to be four thousand people tonight. Yesterday there was five thousand people tonight. Right. Like, this is just like every night on the tour. Whereas <laughs> Noah, you know, it'd be two hundred, four hundred, right. maybe six hundred, and then two hundred, and then you do the Korokin, which would sell out. Right. But the shows that aren't in Tokyo are still huge. That's mm-hmm. what I and that is. Like my my dream, I guess twenty years later, is to do like a regular loop where it's all a lot of people to entertain. Right. right. Yeah. No. I, New Japan business is, re, is on fire in Japan. This is the best it's ever been since right? I've been here. The best it's ever been. This is the most people every year. It just seems to get bigger and bigger, and um, that's why I think part of the reason too, like you know, hey, we want to expand to America and stuff like that because it's like I don't know how much more we can do here. <laughs> you know, like it's getting. It's like within the next five years if we continue this growth I don't know how much bigger we can get you know so yeah, yesterday I was just yeah it's just like we're doing all these matches with all these people and I was just like fuck this is like the 90s or the 80s like just when they when you would hear Stan Hansen would go town to town and every night would be 10,000 people you know dude it's it's been a blast it's been, it's been fun to watch you, right, you gotta do go your work? thing yeah I gotta go to work man. Right, I, gotta, I gotta go Music stretch alright good me luck. luck tonight <laughs> wish me luck Slim, but oh. good luck. Gambate. Gambate? Gambate kudasai. Gambate. You say, you say, gambare mas. Gambare mas? Yeah. Gambare. J- so I say, oh. I say, oh, cow. <laughs> so I say, I tell you, gambate kudasai, which is like, please have a great fight. Okay. And you'll say, and you say, gambare mas. You'll be like, I will try my hardest. I will, I will try more, which I will is mas. I try my hardest. Yeah. Oh, I'm mixing up the languages. Yeah. Mas, mas gambate. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's Espanol. That's Espanol. Si, muy bien. <laughs> Well, guess what, folks? Slim, but not to none, pulled out an upset. How fun. Somehow, in my weirdly first tour, I beat a former IWGP heavyweight champion, and uh, I am moving on to the second round. And whatever you guys say about wrestling, but somebody thought a thing about me, and here I am, winning a match, 
and uh, moving on in this tournament. Of course, I'm going to face Yano, the king of uh, Japanese-style comedy. He is very funny. We have been doing some funny things in the ring, and uh, that match will take place in Corican Hall uh, next week, and I'll probably have an update for you. So this has uh, has been me in my hotel, kind of uh, not trying to talk too loud because I'm pretty sure everyone can hear me in the hallways. It's always kind of embarrassing, but I'm getting it out there. <laughs> And uh, I'm excited about my first week touring with New Japan, and I hope you're excited for me. And there's going to be a couple more weeks, and we'll get to those in the following weeks. But uh, before we get out of here, we are going to have some plugs and upcoming events. All right, the best way that you can support ColtMerch.com, DigitalColt.com. Twitter and Instagram is at Colt Cabana. Facebook slash Colt Cabana. My storytelling podcast, Pro Wrestling Fringe, plus past archives of this show, old and new, are ad-free on StitcherPremium.com slash Colt. Use the code Colt and get a free month. ColtWrestling at gmail.com is my very public email. Maybe you're a promoter want to put me on your upcoming show or convention or even be documented on this very podcast. I have a YouTube channel. I have a website, ColtCabana.com. That's where you can send me something fun to my P.O. box. I also did a comedy podcast in Vancouver before I left. It's called Stop Podcasting Yourself. I've recommended it before many times. Graham Clark, Dave Shumka. Graham Clark has been on the Fringe series before, and uh, I recommend you check that out on iTunes. Again, that's Stop Podcasting Yourself. It's very fun to do. It's a very fun show, and we chat about wrestling with comedians. Upcoming events, March 14th to the 24th, many cities in Japan, njpw1972.com. Friday, March 29th, Charleston, West Virginia, Facebook slash Pro Wrestling Conquest. Sunday, March 31st and April 14th, Baltimore, Maryland and Columbus, Ohio. I'll be doing commentary, rohwrestling.com. Friday, April 3rd through the 6th, New York City area for Mania Weekend. Wednesday night, Rahway, New Jersey, wrestleproonline.com. Thursday night, Queens, New York, ddtpro.com. Thursday at 11 p.m., Jersey City, New Jersey, AIWrestling.com. All day Friday and Saturday, I will be doing the WrestleCon convention. Friday night, I'll be doing Joey Ryan's Penis Party, WrestleCon.com for that information. Saturday night, I will be at Madison Square Garden, ROHWrestling.com. And Saturday, April 20th, Anchorage, Alaska. Tell a friend if they live in Alaska, WrestleProOnline.com. Intro music is by the Ukulele Teacher on YouTube. Outro music by Super Fun Yeah Yeah Rocket Ship. Podcast cover art and design by Jimmy Lee, photo by James Musselwhite. Thanks to Rocky Romero, Mikey Nichols, Juice Robinson, Will Ospreay, and even Milano Collection AT for coming on the show. Thanks to our sponsors, HighSpots.com, an amazing VOD service that has two new $5 wrestlings available to watch. PWGs, Best Friends, AMA knee pads, gear, masks, even a wrestling ring. And OneHourTees.com, they help run ProWrestlingTees.com. That's how you can support your favorite independent wrestlers. All right, that is the uh, show for the week. I'm not going to ramble on too much. I just have the uh, little miniature microphone on my iPhone. I'm not even sure if it sounds good. I wasn't the, the happiest about last week's, but um, I'm holding this a little further away and hoping, uh, hoping it comes out a little better. I'm an audio snob, and uh, I should have brought the stuff. I didn't bring it. I'm an idiot. Baka. Watashi wa baka. This has been The Art of Wrestling. For Cole Cabana... I'm Cole Cabana. Thanks. さあコルトブンブンカバナの登場です。こういうとこもちゃんと落ち着けるようになりましたよね海野選手は、ね。お、おおまだ行きたいんだと。えー、おお。あのコルトカバナが譲りましたよ。えー